We're going to be talking to a man um, who is focused on connecting Africans and black Americans. As we all know, it is the season for year of return. We're getting a hint that Beyonce might be in town. We're not sure if that picture she posted with the uh, gloves and everything, that's actually in Ghana. But the background looks like someone's house with a mango tree or something. We'll still verify and see if she really is in town. But yes, this gentleman here by the name Harrison Poku is here to tell us all about why there's a need to connect Africans and black Americans and what Year of Return means to him as well. Also picked up an award uh, not too long ago, and so we'll talk about that as well. Good morning. How are you? Good next one. I'm Akwaba. here. Akwaba. Me that's it. Bibi are fine. Oh, boy, where did Fufu? Where did Fufu? My son, Kwai. What's son? Kwai, man, I'll say. I say, I... In Katin 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 okay, in so you remember. I remember. Of How long ago did you come back home before t this? Uh, five years ago. Five years? Five years ago. Okay, that means that you didn't live here all your I life? Did not, I did not live here. Uh, I lived in Italy okay. and uh, America. Okay. And, I mean, how has it been like trying to connect, being outside Ghana and connecting with people back home? It's, it, it's been a challenge because, of course, you didn't grow up here, so you don't know the culture. Mm. And you don't have no friends or anybody to trust. Yeah. But once I came, knowing that there's so much love in the air that even if you don't know people, everybody is excited mm. to, to have me home or to have anybody home. Definitely. But what have you been working on all these years? Uh, so far, uh, things that I've been doing in Columbus is pretty much establishing relationships with uh, some of the politicians so that they'll be able to help out the immigrant community where we're okay. at. Why, they don't, why has there been a need? Uh, uh, they don't give us a lot of attention. Uh, okay. And sometimes they forget that even though there are black people, we have Africans and we have black Americans. So. When you say they don't give attention, who doesn't give the attention? The uh, the the leaders and the influencers in of our the community, community, of the black community. Okay, so then why do you think that there's a need to connect them to the Americans as well? Uh, I feel like it's important to connect them to the Americans as well is because when we come together and we share some of the things that we, we like to talk about mm -hmm. and have in common, it helps us have a better understanding. So I've seen that it helped us increase our networks in many different phases. How do you tie it into the whole year of return celebration? The whole year of celebration, I know is a celebration, but at the same time, I want people to also focus on networking and mm. really investing back home and trying to use your talent. So the, the year of return took a big buzz. Of course, we all know it's 400 years, but mm -hmm. we want to focus more on just the conversation on just slavery, but how can we bring the youth's attention more back home? Back home. But I mean, there are lots of young people out there don't think they want to even come back home, unfortunately. And, 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 and it's sad. And, and I think that's why uh, I was very excited to know that uh, Ghana was open to welcome a lot of people so that people can experience the fun part of Ghana. And because of social media, it makes people abroad be like, oh, man, I didn't know it was that yeah. lit or anything like that. Yeah. So but what have, what have been the challenges that a lot of these young people have mentioned concerning moving back home, establishing themselves all the way? Because if you've lived in a place for maybe 20, 30 years, okay. if you're going to have to leave that life and come back and start from scratch, that's a problem. I think one of the biggest things is health. Like, they're okay. scared about how the health system is, I really? guess, overseas. Yeah, that's one of their biggest main concerns. They... They fear that they probably won't get the proper care because, of course, they hear stories of people that came mm -hmm. and they were sick and then they went to get checked up and something bad happened. But they could have been prevented if they were back home. So I think health reasons are one of the main things and I trust see. in the culture. Yep. This is actually the first time I'm hearing this oh, because really? I thought they probably would be more focused on adjusting to the system, the mm -hmm. heat. Um, the economy and all of that, but health. Trust me, everybody want to be alive, and everybody of course. and uh, everybody. That's one of the first things. Oh man, how's the health system? Is it cool? Is the hard to die? And I'm like, you're professional, just like everybody mm. else. For you personally, I mean, if you came back five years ago and now you're back, then there's a reason why you want to come back. Definitely. Home. But when you came, what was the first challenge that you faced that made it difficult for you to want to make up your mind to settle? Whew. I'll say the 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 main thing or the good adjustment that happened to me was how people were open to any ideas that I proposed. They were excited. They were like, oh, you're home. And family members is what really gave me that passion connection. Like, hey, this is where I'm from. These are my roots. So I'll say coming back and going to the village, not necessarily being in a big city. Which, but, which village did you uh, go to? I went to Nkwabe and Kransan. Okay. And then I went to Tichu. Of course, Tichu is not a village or anything like that. Yeah, but I'm yeah, saying yeah. I went back home where where my grandparents was at, and okay. that really connected with me. Yeah, you enjoyed it? Oh, what it was did you fun. love about the place? Man, I just, I just love the fact that people will wake up, everybody's alive, everybody's just juvenated, and, mm -hmm. and, and I love the fact that everybody eats together. And exactly. that was one of the 
the beautiful thing. My grandmother wake me up and we'll just eat. So what do you tell these black Americans and these young people in the diaspora? What do you tell them to encourage them to move back home? I, I tell them that the first thing I say is, first of all, it doesn't hurt having two or three different bank accounts. You can have a bank account in Ghana, and you can have a bank account in America. So mm. try to invest, try to learn, and try to open your mindset. And I tell them all the time, if you really want to live like a king and queen, you got to come to Africa because there's so much love and you will really receive it better than being in America. But are you aware of the investment opportunities available down here? If you're asking them to come down and invest and they ask, what am I going to invest in? And, and these are some of the, the topic conversations that we have these community events in Columbus to talk about what are some of the opportunities that could develop coming back home. So also I would like to know more about any conferences that will talk about these discussions so that people will be able to have Definitely. a better understanding. Then you missed the diaspora drive. It was on Friday. I should have reminded you. Shame on me. Because you were in town by okay. then, right? Yes, I was in town by anyway, then. Anyway, tell me about this award that you picked up. Uh, I was watching the video on your website. Tell it, me about it. It was a uh, it was a community award for a future uh, future leaders in Columbus. Okay. So uh, to to be an African to get it, it was like oh my god, it was it was surprising. But in my head, I'm like, it's it's something that I wasn't surprised because I knew that okay. It is a need for Africans and black Americans to connect because yeah. there was a big, huge separation mm. going on. So, okay. so that award made me realize that, okay, now they're really trying to embrace everything that's going on. I see. So you're in town for a while. I'm in town for a while. What would you be working on? I'll be, uh, I, was, I was able to host one of my friends. Did a, um, she's, a, she's a makeup pro, and she did like a master class, and I okay. was able to MC it. So just seeing people overseas and my peers coming here, and being involved in events is I really see. exciting. Okay, well, we wish you luck, and Thank hopefully you. we'll see you do a lot more things as well. Thank you. Before you leave. Of course. All right, and we'll go and eat some fufu as of well. Of course, no problem. Anyway, I've been speaking to Harrison Poku, and like we mentioned, he is more focused on trying to connect Africans and the black Americans. So people in diaspora encouraging them to come back home and invest and settle and help build the economy as well. So it's been a pleasure Thank you. having you on the show.